I hope you're having an amazing day. My name is Colin and in this video we're going to have a look at Clementine's Nightmare. The story of Clementine. Welcome to Clementine's Nightmare. Clementine's universe takes a one-of-a-kind turn for the worse when her world is invaded by nightmarish creatures from other realms of reality. Her town and the people she once knew are all gone, having become twisted by darkness. But just when all hope seems lost, powerful forces of light arrive from across existence to give Clementine and her friends a uniquely thrilling second chance. So the main thing why I'm covering this, because we are super, super, super early uh, for Clementine's Nightmare. The actual white paper is not there. There's nothing on the tokenomics just yet, but there's a lot of bullishness. The art looks amazing. The story is amazing. And the community is growing exponentially right now. So definitely very bullish on this project. I'm covering it right now. I'll probably cover it again in the future when more updates are being released. So they have the community. They have a lot of information regarding the NFT sale that will happen soon. And you can see that the website itself already looks really, really, really great. It's kind of the, the Pixar style characters. And you can collect like dreams. No two Genesis NFTs are the same. This is your chance to collect them all and be ready for the full gaming adventure to come. Explore, immerse yourself into the whimsical story of Clementine. Dive into the lore to gain a deeper understanding of the character and ever expanding universe. Play, characters, NFTs will all be available for all Genesis holders at launch. Use them to conquer your nightmares and team up with your friends. Master, become a master of the cosmos through knowledge and practice. Show how far you can take your skills across the ethereal plane. Rank up to supreme greatness. So definitely, as I said before, really, really cool artwork. Maud, the nightmare you'll never see coming. Maud is one of the worst nightmares you could ever ask for. This is in large part because he likes to use the art of deception to charm his way inside your happy dreams. He'll win you over with a smile, entertain you with his wit, then turn your world upside down. The trickster is embodiment of roundabout psychological warfare. He is a natural born sadist who likes to play with his food before devouring it all. His tactics are kind of kind of dark, right? Well, it's a nightmare after all. His tactics afford him an inhuman level of patience and he takes great pleasure in the process of infiltration, corruption and total consumption of all good and innocent. He's a nightmare to be avoided at all costs. If you do find yourself in the unfortunate position of face to face with Maud, it is advisable that you say very little to him. He will use anything you tell him to his full advantage. So definitely probably the first big boss at the end of the first game, Maud. Right, so you got Maud here, you got Clementine, you got Stag, Jack Carver, Twee, Flicker, Gax, Aerosol. So there are some friends, some enemies. I think the definitely the darkish ones are the enemies, the other ones are friends. And the, basically um, the play to earn has its own section. So the pre-game launch, obviously important information. Right now there's not that much information out yet, just the amazing artwork, the big community already, uh, and the upcoming NFT mint, right? So on the play and earn side, Although there will not be a play to earn mechanic available prior to the public game launch, holders will be rewarded with airdrop during this window. Holders will also be awarded with early access to the alpha and beta phases of the game. The drops will consist of multiple airdrops of cosmetics tied to each NFT. Airdrop of ink tokens during the game beta just before the official game launch. So the ink token will then be the, I assume, official token of Clementine's Nightmare. Post game launch, community members will play games to unlock ink tokens. These may be used across multiple aspects of the game and the greater Clementine's Nightmare Metaverse. The tokens serve as currency for purchasing additional game packs and in-game services. Ink tokens can also be purchased unleashed transfers for Ink tokens can also purchase unleashing transfers of any owned hero. I don't know what that means. This puts any champion they choose onto the blockchain as an NFT. Okay, fair enough. Please note that there will be requirements for creating NFTs from in-game heroes, such as player level and power. Game NFTs will also differ from the pre-launch NFTs. Once the 
first and only airdrop of ink tokens has occurred. No additional ink tokens will be released by the team and new ink tokens can only be generated by playing the game. Further token details are coming soon. Very curious to see about the token details, of course, as that is what I always look for. On the NFT side of things, there is an unleash of phase one private whitelist presale. The Genesis collection will launch February 2022. This will consist of 10 different characters with a maximum supply of 500 unique assets each, totaling 5000 NFT assets. Whitelist presale information can be found in the Discord channel. Unleashing phase two public sale. The Eclipse Collection details will be released in March 2022. This phase will feature additional characters not included in Phase 1. It will consist of 20 additional characters with a maximum supply of 5,000 unique assets each, totaling 10,000 NFT assets. All right, that makes sense. So one collection is 5,000, the other collection is 10,000. One is white sale only uh, with a pre-sale and the other one is public. So the roadmap, I think it's very important as it's still very, very early. So first they have the NFT pre-sale, the whitelist event, then the NFT launch phase one, NFT pre-sale public event, NFT launch phase two, right? So what we just discussed. Then the airdrop event continuously until game launch. So they're, they're trying to sustain the hype of, of Clementine's Nightmare with uh, airdrops. Story release continues until game launch, or they're going to drip the story out, the lore, PC game alpha, so it launches on computer first, private invite for NFT holders only, PC game beta, open invites for holders only, then the ink token launch, fair launch, tokenomics contract verified audit white paper holder airdrop, all right, and then play and earn mechanics launched, PC playable game launch, mobile game Better open invite for holders only, and then the mobile game launch. So when I look at this roadmap and I look at Clement Hines' nightmare as is, uh, usually what we see when we see an NFT mint, so two collections, then they bridge the hype until the token launch. It's usually a six to nine month process, right? So uh, if they can do it in three to six months, I would be impressed. But I do think it's more of a 2022, 2023. So when I'm saying uh, the 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 actual tokenomics right the white paper six months from now uh, and then the actual playable alpha or the, the playable alpha might happen sooner right um, but they need some time and the actual game launch will probably happen six to months to a year after the actual token launch that would make sense as uh, usually what we see in these cases let's explore the community because that's basically all that we have at this moment Go to Discord. I think I'm already in. Yeah, there we are. So the mint date is February 18th. So about a week from now. Mint price is a quarter of an Ethereum. So we're looking at about $600-ish. Phase one supply. Users already 44,000. So that's definitely very, very impressive for just an NFT mint. I think because the art looks so great. Right? The journey begins here. All right. So they do have... Uh, big post so pixelated ink is taking over 18 years of gaming and marketing branding experience well we can see that on the branding and marketing it looks really 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 good definitely community first focused um all right so they have a good setup i'm, I'm pretty sure that we should be able to find the owner somewhere as well private pre-sale okay so they have some information right the different factions all right announcements all right let's have a look at the announcements because that is basically the most important thing at this point okay so they have an ama with the founders which you can find so that's obviously i think very important you can find a lot of information there can we actually see the founders at that point because that would be great uh, yeah we can actually see them so you have a docs team right here uh, they're talking for an hour and 10 minutes which I think is really great. It has 2000 views, uh, but this just generates trust and transparency. So I really, really like this. Uh, I think it has great potential. 
Everybody seems professional as well. Nobody sitting in their pajama or anything. You know, you don't want to know when I review gaming projects, whatever I see. Uh, sometimes people are just so unprofessional. But this looks really good, and specifically because I think these uh, these guys with the Clementine's Nightmare branding and everything are the main guys. But definitely have a look at this because that is definitely a, a good sign that they're willing to show their face, talk about their project, and everything from this, right? right 80,000 followers on Twitter that's already really impressive as well obviously the hype is building up closer to the actual mint and you can see definitely focus on the mint so in in January end of January so in the last one and a half weeks two weeks they gained about 30,000 followers on Twitter so definitely impressive obviously some good marketing going on as well right um, there is some uh, VC, so we've opened oh, it's just voice channels. I thought venture capital, right? Because I review so many projects, but it's like voice chats. Um, and they have an AMA update, all right? Let's see if we can open that, have a look. All right, so founder, okay, so here they bring in the team, right? So lead developer at Coinbase, okay, impressive. Open source space, blockchain 2009, founder and lead visionary of the project. 18 years, gaming space, Dark Soul, I love Dark Soul, Call of Duty, Assassin's Creed, but Dark Soul, really nice, lead writer, blockchain lawyer, all right, they go into the detail of the actual game, that's quite cool, it's completely free to play, talk about the factions, I'm really looking for information related to the tokenomics because the value of the NFTs, I'm not a big NFT guy in general. I'm more into the tokens uh, and all that. But like, I, I do like that they actually wrote out the actual AMA with the most important questions uh, to get like a good feeling. So this all instills trust, right? With a project that's so early where the roadmap, I assume, is quite long, right? You just really got to get that confidence. And I feel like uh, it's all based on hype at the end of the day supply and demand right but i do feel like this is some very uh, well set up project so far from what i'm seeing right uh, and definitely uh, a lot of potential there so i i truly uh, truly feel like this um, this might be really something big right so i will definitely keep my eyes on this project for the mint and maybe maybe pick one up just for jokes, right? If I can get one, if I can get myself into the whitelist. Uh, I actually got this project from the Neo Tokyo Re Research Report, uh, which also didn't have that much information, but it did look really good. Uh, and now, uh, obviously, I'm looking at it myself. So I think those guys for that set up. Uh, and now we're here. Uh, you can basically get whitelisted. Uh, OGs have obviously opportunity if you supported the project before. But all in all, I'm very bullish on Clementine's Nightmare. I'm just going to hang out in their Discord, wait for more information. I will see how the NFT mint goes, the first one. But I think they will sell out extremely quick. Then for the public one, uh, which is coming up later, if I cannot snag one right now, I'll snag one later in the second phase. Uh, but I'm most importantly focused on the white paper. So as soon as that white paper comes out, I will do a full review of it step by step as I usually do on this channel. But this is definitely extremely early, a potential crypto gaming gem, Clementine's Nightmare. Let me know what you think about this project in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.